everyone. Today, let's try out some powerful potions. Believe it or not, there are magic ingredients in your very own kitchen. You just need to know which ones to mix together to get an explosive result. Please ask an adult before you try these experiments. All of the ingredients that we will be using today are completely safe, but most of the mixtures taste really yucky. So don't drink them unless you are told you can by an adult. The ingredients you will need to collect are baking soda, salt, vinegar, food coloring, a carbonated drink, I'm using water, bottles, cups, and balloons. All of our experiments today will be showcasing chemical reactions. Now chemical reactions are things that make explosions. So big ones that you've seen are maybe a rocket ship being launched into the sky. And small ones you may have seen are when you mix something that's called an acid, which is vinegar or even citric acid, which we'll use in our next experiment, and a base. Um, for today, we are using baking soda, and when they combine, they start to fizzle. So our first experiment is called bubble and fizz. And for an instant fizz, we are going to fill a small glass with any kind of carbonated drink. I just used water that I carbonated with a soda stream, and we'll talk about the science behind that in a minute. Then all you have to do is pour a little bit of salt on top, I'm going to add food coloring so we can see the bubbles. So let's talk about the science. When you open a can or a bottle of carbonated water or soda, you'll hear a whooshing sound. You ready? That is the sound of carbon dioxide gas escaping, which is what I used in the soda stream to add the bubbles to just regular water. The gas is what makes a drink fizzy. At the factory where you might see cans of Coke or Pepsi being made, the gas is forced into the drink under high pressure. If you have a soda stream at home, you can even try that. Um, so it, may, it dissolves in the liquid and then it gets bottled up. And so when you crack the can open, um, if you have a can of fizzy water or a pop like Coke or Pepsi, um, or even a bottle, the gas slowly escapes from the liquid by forming bubbles. So we're gonna add the bubbly water to the glass. I'm gonna add some of the food coloring so we can see. And then we're gonna add the salt. Now, by adding salt, we'll make the bubbles form faster because the crystals of salt are rough and the bubbles will grow on the rough crystals. And then the bubbles will rush to the top of the liquid and hopefully we'll get an overflow. Nearly, but it did make an impact. And that's bubble and fizz. Our second trick today is actually a magic trick that you can amaze others. It's called instant inflation. Amaze audiences by telling them that you're going to blow up a balloon without blowing air at all. So you will need vinegar, baking soda and a spoon, maybe a funnel, but it's probably safe just to grab one, an empty plastic bottle, and of course, a balloon. First thing, carefully pour some vinegar into the bottle. You do not need to fill the whole bottle with vinegar, just probably a quarter of the way or even a th less than a quarter. I just sort of eyeballed it. Then here's when you'll probably need the funnel. You're going to stick the funnel into the opening of the balloon so that you can put in some baking soda. Make sure it gets in there. The next part of this, you're going to take the opening of the balloon and stretch it over the opening of the bottle, being careful not yet to pour in the baking soda. 
You may need a second set of hands, so ask a grown-up to hold the bottle for you. And then finally, you're going to pick up the balloon and empty it into the baking soda and watch it blow up. As the baking soda mixes with the vinegar, bubbles form releasing carbon dioxide, which let the balloon expand and blow up without you having to blow into it at all. Thank you for watching. Remember to ask your parents for permission to do any of the tricks seen today. Visit the library's kids virtual programming page for the recipes and apply to get a special project kit to create an Alka-Seltzer rocket.